Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Guess what? Yes, it's time for a new Poundland bin. And it's time for the last Poundland bin of 2020. It's bound to be a crap one because it's been a pretty crap year. Yes. Nicholas Cage, maybe. <laughs> John Travolta. Some weird crap bottom shelf rubbish. Anyway, let us dig our little paws, our little Christmas festive paws, <laughs> into the bin, down into the depths of Pixar. And oh, well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Picking out a Pixar film. Yes, anyway, I'm getting off track here. Yes, let's dig down deep into the bin and see what lucky little chap's going to come out today. Ooh. <laughs> What's in the Poundland bin? Hello, pa hello, R2. Hello, hello, Vader. <laughs> Get on with it. Hello, Poundland Bin. How the devil are you? Oh, I had a really rotten Christmas. My bloody Christmas pudding was burnt to shreds. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> are you ready, folks? Let's let the fingers do the walking. <laughs> oh, we've got a full load down here. <laughs> Oh, God, I'll just stop coming out with these new windows. Anyway, here we go. What is coming out today? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I can hear some rustling. I can hear some rustling. Oh. Shall I get that one? Oh, dear. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. And guess what, people? It's wrapped. It's still wrapped. Right, okay. What can it be? What can the matter be? Is it upside down? Let's uh, find out. It's not upside down. From the producers of American Pie, Cabin Fever, and something else that's actually under the sticker. Oh, God, this is going to be shit. But it might be a laugh. Zombievers, anybody? <laughs> oh, no. I remember picking this up. <clears throat> Zombievers. Oh, my God. When a group of college kids take a vacation at a riverside cabin, little do they know a swarm of deadly zombie beavers have taken an interest in them. A weekend of sex and debauchery soon turns gruesome as the beavers close in on the kids. Now they must fight for their lives and find a way to fend off these pack of relentless, bloodthirsty mutant beavers. And that's just the women. <laughs> OK, it's going to be a laugh, isn't it? It's going to be Sharknado type of shit. Yes. <laughs> Right, let's get it in the player. And um, I think we'll watch it on the 4K TV today instead of the projector. OK, so I've got the wrapping off. Here we go, Zombievers. We do have some artwork. Yeah, that looks scary. Not. And shiny disc. A shiny disc. Okie dokie. Let's open the player. Oh, there we go. And yes, I have dusted it. In we go, and you know what time it is. That's right, it's time for Be More Grogu. Okay, so we have Be More Yoda, yes. And uh, let's have a look, see what page we're on. It's a real page turner. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Okay. What have we got here? It says, awakening your potential. Yes. It's important to find ways to avoid living minute to minute like a scrounging scavenger. 
Don't get so caught up in your everyday responsibilities that you run from a chance to expand your horizons and abilities. If you seize that opportunity, you won't simply be surviving, you'll be thriving. Yes, she can scavenge my scroungings any day. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, okie dokie. So the disc is in and it is spinning. So let's press play and watch a bit of watery beavers with gnashing teeth, I should imagine. One eternity later. <laughs> Zombievers, Zombievers, Zombievers. <laughs> oh dear me, um, that was a bit of fun. Um, obviously nothing serious. Basically, what happened at the beginning of the film? There's these two guys driving down the road in looks like a, a, a jeep, a truck, transporting loads of barrels. They have a bit of a mishap and one of the barrels gets flung off the back of the truck into a lake right where there's beavers. And this is toxic stuff. Uh, so you, you can see exactly where this is going. The film then follows three hot babes or totty or whatever you want to call them. Just three young women decided to hit the lake, get a bit of sun tan, you know, a bit of swimming, get away from their fellas. And of course their blokes turn up unannounced. The comedy in this can be quite crude at times, you know, how many beaver jokes can you actually tell? Uh, and there's one scene where one of the neighbouring neighbours, elderly lady that knew one of the girls' mums, um comes over to welcome them oh she's grown isn't she oh she blossomed doesn't she oh. uh and one of the other girls that's with him says uh not really her tits are still really small <laughs> that type of american pie type of stiffly humor in fact when you get the blokes in the story the three blokes they are literally all stiffler from american pie uh, the dialogue is not cringy. It's actually quite amusing in, in places. Uh, they get up to the usual rumpy bumpy in the in, in the bedrooms. And then the zombievers turn up. Yes, imagine The Walking Dead, but with beavers. And you've got the story. Uh, and they love gnashing on everything. Gnashing on legs. Gnashing on beavers. <laughs> gnashing on wood. Whatever they can find. Whoever they attack and get maimed actually do turn into beavers themselves. Adult human beavers with big, big teeth. Yes. Special effects are pretty naff. The makeup is pretty naff. Uh, and the actual beavers as they're running along the floor is right out of Jim Henson and Dark Crystal. But worse. Uh, so yeah, the, the effects on the beavers is pretty bad. But as for the characters themselves, they weren't annoying in any way. Even the stiffler type blokes were actually amusing and it was funny to watch these interacting with the women. American Pie style. The film is only short. It's an hour and 17 minutes, really short. I don't think you could stretch it out any longer. Uh, it was amusing for what it was, you know, 1950s style B-movie science fiction horror type of film. Beaver from the Lagoon type stuff. I don't think it's a film that you could revisit that many times, though. I think the first time watch is a novelty, uh, like Sharknado, and it's a bit of fun, a bit of escapism. It's certainly nothing serious. 
Um, but uh, it was it was a bit of fun for an hour and 17 minutes. The picture quality was actually fantastic. It was really crisp and clean. No grain whatsoever. Surprised me with the picture quality, considering it's like a low budget bottom shelf that go, you know, that was out of Poundland. The sound was DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, which upscaled it to Neuro. Sound was good, dialogue was good. Uh, there's lots of use of the bass uh, when the beavers are surrounding the house and you're getting banging on the wall for them trying to get in. And a lot of use of the surrounds as well, banging upstairs, banging the walls behind you. There are some special features, believe it or not. Uh, you get auditions. Uh, building a beaver, <laughs> man becomes monster, deleted scene and behind the scenes. As you can see there, you get quite a lot. There's the main cast up the top there, uh, who all did a, a pretty good job. As I say, it is a low budget 1950s style movie, you know, uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space, really bad type of thing. But it was amusing. It was amusing for, for what it was. So that is my review of Zombievers. How would I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, for what it was and the fact that it was just a bit of fun, I'd give it 4 gnashing beavers. Yes, out of 10. So that is my review of Zombievers. Is it a film that I'm going to keep or am I going to put it in the recycling bin? Let's find out. As much as it was a bit of fun, I think it's really just a one-time fun watch. Yes, it's just a one-time watch, just a bit of fun. But uh, it's something that I'm not really going to be wanting to go back on. If I did fancy watching it again for a laugh, I'd probably seek it out on something like Amazon uh, Prime or maybe Netflix. But that is my review of Zombievers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I shall see you on the next What's in the Poundland Bin. Bye!